wife. This is my wifey. This is our sunny boy. Hello. And today, let's get started and let's eat. Yeah, right away. Yeah, I know, I need to show you. I know you saw all of this. Oops. Oops. But it's so good. Ariel, right, give me please your... Uh, yeah. um, Oh, this kind of thing here. Mm. <laughs> I'll fix it, thank you. Okay. I will fix it. Nah. Let's exchange. Thank you. Fix it so wet. <laughs> Did you clean the mommy spell? Good job. Yeah. Do you want the end? Do you want the middle? What you... Um, middle. I want the end. I always want the end. I love the crusty parts. This is your plate. I like the innards. Innards? Mm. It's nice inside. It's there nice we go. Inside. Oops. And we lost some. Oops. There you go. Yeah, and here we have um, cranberry sauce. Can have some? Cranberry sauce for the Brussels sprouts. I know that we, all our family really loves we cranberry. Have olives. Salsa. This is garlic stuffed right. olives. Mix. Garlic stuffed olives, yes. Mm. Yeah, those are my favorite. Thank okay. you. Here. Here you go. Mm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. This is good. Mm -hmm. And you look the bottom. Yeah? Yeah. It's actually the top of the baguette and the bottom. Because well, obviously the top crust is tastier than the bottom crust. So the bottom crust is cut off to make room for all this yumminess. Not the top. It's less rough. Mm-hmm. This part. Mm. Mm -hmm. And obviously you've stuffed it very well. Mm -hmm. mm. They know I showed them the close-up how I made it. But really, by any means, stuff, stuff it with whatever you like, like peppers, tomatoes, um, and then those type of sausages, hot dogs even. I know my mom made hot dogs, cut hot dogs inside, cooked hot dogs as well. Be sure to cook them before. Mm. Mm. Oh my. Cleaner. The shape reminds me of something I had in Macedonia. Macedonia? Yeah. Where it was like a triangle sort of pizza? What is it? What was yeah. it? The shape reminds me of that. Republic of Macedonia. This was type of bake, big triangle, but it wasn't part of pizza pie. Hmm. When you really stuffed it well, it falls like crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know. I'm a little bit of cello with you. Do you want some olives, honey? Yeah, I'm good. It's uh, garlic stuff. Actually, I'll have some. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I can figure out how to make this so it won't fall. Oh, here the sick. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I hold it like this and eat in the front. And whatever falls, falls away from me into the plate. So it doesn't matter. Last, last weekend, we went to Vancouver, Vancouver Aquarium. Ariel, what did you have in Vancouver Aquarium? It was like you learned about um, stingrays. It was nice because it was for from ten to twelve, but it was actually from nine thirty to twelve. No, I mean age, age, age. age. Oh, but time is like two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. We had to wake up early. It was fun, but which we can when necessary. <laughs> it was fun, but I didn't really learn anything because I already knew. 
all of it. The only fact I learned it was something that didn't actually have to do with the stingrays at that exact second. So. Hmm. And not from the teachers. Yeah. yeah, from the other kids. What did you learn? From other kids? I don't remember. <laughs> it was something that um, evolution, something about yeah, evolution. Yeah, something to do with evolution. This is, that, this is black coffee. Oh, I'm drinking green tea. It's water. Mm -hmm. The thing mm. is that since you were little, you always knew so many facts about animals that to surprise you is very hard. Mm -hmm. No. And again, we had um, two years of aquarium membership before. So. That was long ago, though. Mm hmm. As we're looking to enriching some enrichment programs for RL. And we got this opportunity, so we're like, you know what? You want to try it? He said, yeah, great idea, but I can enjoy it, but it was not um, educational enough and extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the worst part for you, he said, was uh, when they give sheets and ask you to fill some sheets, mm -hmm. which is not how it like learns. For some kids, it might have helped a lot because some of them learn by writing and reading. Me, honestly, I more enjoyed reading um, the little um, tiny things that you get the information from than... Information boards? In the classroom. Yeah. 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 And when we travel, we go to some park or some, like in Greece, we'd stop and read every one of them. Mm -hmm. I can Regina the best. She's the oh. one. One minute after one. Until we, was wait we were waiting for Ariel, we did the hike with Regina. Mm -hmm. I went to Beaver Lake because it's located in Stanley Park. And Stanley Park, the biggest gem of Vancouver. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest urban park, I think, in um, North America. At least it was. I'm not sure if it's still in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we went inside and we saw all the uh, seawall, went inside the little around Beaver Lake, mm -hmm. see lots of duckies. And then we decided to to make a... When I was done, we decided, oh, let's bike. Mm -hmm. We barely could walk afterwards. Because yeah. the day before, we decided that we need to make the uh, 10k here next to us in our beloved park. And then afterwards, we did another 10k bike in Stanley Park mm -hmm. on the sea wall. Mm -hmm. It was so much fun. It was raining part of the time, so we had absolutely blast. It was drizzling. Mm -hmm. It was raining a lot. With just gentle drizzle, finally. So it was it was actually nice, and the wind was howling in some parts. It was kind of interesting. And then we fun. went exploring the beach a little bit. Mm -hmm. So seagull eating starfish. Mm -hmm. Love it was starfish. cold though. It was cold. But you but know what? Because we were, we were moving from the bike, it wasn't too bad. And you know what? If you go in the summer, mm -hmm. on the weekend, good luck. Too many people. If you go in the summer, not in the weekend, still busy. We've been passed maybe by 12 uh, people, people, right? And which is unheard On of. the whole 10K, which is unheard of. So I was like, oh, we're not the only crazy ones. Okay. <laughs> but it was nice, you know, not to worry that someone's passing you every minute. Actually, I was talking, I was talking with the people from um, the city that we really loved, and we really was shocked that it's so cold in summer. San Francisco. Yeah, 
he came people from San Francisco and they were like they were loving it and they said you know it's the same pretty much brand that we have there so they love it I was not busy which was a big advantage mm -hmm. uh, it's so fun to bike that place mm -hmm. in summer it's in the middle of the week it's packed there is no one mm -hmm. oh. yeah but on the weekend, probably spring and fall is better. Oh, uh, sorry, Ariel. I think I a little bit um, crushed it, broke it. That's fine. Already. Hey, I know it's it was my finger. No. Okay. There you go, Ariel. That's yours. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we did actually. It was pretty fun. It was really fun. Stack it all in. Actually, for the last two days, we have snow. I mean, I know. It snowed the day after. Mm -hmm. It was tons and tons and tons of snow. But not really not tons. For us, it's tons. Okay, it's not tons for normal people. <laughs> Just for Vancouver people. Yeah. Enough for us. And I had to drive yesterday for one to Vancouver again. And it was like, oh. Luckily, the roads were fairly okay. But it's scary. Like, it's. Yeah. Because we don't know how to drive it. But in Vancouver. Well, people don't know how to drive. And you saw a cool show. Mm hmm. It's an amazing show. Unfortunately, we couldn't take pictures inside, and um, but they are like this, this is couple of uh, clouds, I can guess. Yeah. But it's more like how it's called, pantomime, mom, mine, Charlie Chaplin style. Like Charlie Chaplin style, yeah. Very much old school, mm -hmm. physical comedy. That was so funny. It was funny, it was physical comedy and they did oh, it. Oh, I was so good, I was laughing so much. We all did. Mm -hmm. It's actually physical comedy when they fall a lot and you know, and the faces are it was absolutely precious. They did it so, so, so well. And they were on trapeze, they were on, um, what else they did, something interesting? Ladder. Ladder, trapeze, um, standing on each other's head. Music with the ladder. Yeah, the ladder makes music. <laughs> they play music on the ladder. There's like holes in there, like. Mm -hmm. It's almost like harmonica out of a ladder, expanded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, not. Harmonica. It was so successful. The kids were absolutely amazed. Like, so did the adults. So did the adults. Yeah, we love it so much. They did it so 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 well. Do you need more Brussels sprouts, honey? Uh, a little bit. I always, I'm always happy when Ariel eats Brussels sprouts because I think it's such an okay. uncommon trait in kids. Brussels sprouts, sprouts are so tasty, though. Yeah. Yeah. Do if you, you want else? to start mm. to eat Brussels sprouts, I know it's like a lot of people don't like it. Use frozen ones. Frozen ones doesn't have bitterness to them. Like now, Ariel, I think now you can eat easily the regular ones too. When they have a bit of bitterness to them, like he doesn't care much. But I started with frozen one, and they're always, always, always sweet. I don't know, the freeze takes the bitterness, I'm guessing, out of them. Probably. But bitterness is part of the flavor if you buy the fresh ones. We actually enjoy it. We do, but I don't mind. Mm. I actually buy frozen, a lot of frozen ones, and um. And it's convenient that I have greens in my fingertips, like something to excite dish in my fingertips. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome, buddy. You're so welcome, buddy. And I love cranberry sauce. It's like a jam. It's like a dessert.
I think we'll finish for today. What do you think? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Thank you for so, joining us. Thank you so, for, so thank you for much for joining us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one. For thank much, right? for much. Yeah, always tell the same for much. <laughs> and please subscribe, write us a comment, thumbs up, us in just love and love. And remember, go to Joy and do something fun every day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.